Hey, welcome to Graphic Policy Television, GPTV. I'm Brett. It's Wednesday, which means it's a brand new comic book day. New comics are hitting the shelves all across the world. You can get them digitally, get them physically, get them any way you want. It's new comic book day. And in my hands is one of the more interesting releases. Uh, this is The Art of a Graphic Memoir, Learn to Tell Your Story and Change Your Life by Tom Hart. It's published by St. Martin's Press, who is up with this review copy. Uh, it's not really a, a graphic novel at all, but it's being released. You can get them comic shops. And for comic book fans, you you might dig this. So this is an instructive how to it's a create a graphic memoir uh, for, you know, it gives, it has over 30 exercises that you can do to hone your skills uh, and to tell your story uh, and basically use this really powerful format to tell your story. And we've seen graphic memoirs kind of like explode in the, in the industry and, and, you know, they're bestsellers nowadays, you know, March being a great example of that. Uh, so I kind of want to read the, the contents of it to first give you an idea. Uh, so there's kind of broken up in two spot, spots. It's part one is getting started and part two is going deeper. So part one is broken up to a few parts. So it's why comics, gathering material, organizing material, finding a visual style and starting. And then part two is storytelling strategies, visual language, change your life and then finishing. And then finally some copyright acknowledgements. Uh, and it really is good how-tos and explanations uh, about, you know, creating a, a graphic memoir, like a, to be able to create your own graphic novel, your own story. And, you know, while it is focused on graphic memoir, you know, you obviously can go and use this as, as tools to learn more about just the storytelling and graphic medium, period. Um, kind of give you just want to give examples because there's actually it's it's hard to to really go through and and review this you know since I I haven't used it to go and create a graphic memoir so you know in the end I I can't say you know how fantastic this is to help you do that but you know reading it through and going through bit by bit it really does I think lay out things quite well in a way that for those who don't know, you know, helps you get organized and it looks through, you know, how to do these things. And, um, you know, it's not necessarily going to be uh, perfect. It's not going to tell you everything you need to know about creating a comic book or graphic novel or graphic memoir. Uh, but what it does is it does a really excellent job in giving you advice through a bunch of examples that allows you to kind of think through how to do this and get organized to do this. Um, I kind of found this that this was a really good way to get you thinking and focused on how to do this. Um, you know, it's it's not going to be one where you're going to go out like how to do distribution. Like that's that's not something that this covers. But how to organize it, like that helps you. Like uh, so, you know, a great example is you know do this. So start a log in the middle of the big project. Maybe hard to see you've made any progress. Start a private log each day. Write down how you push the project you know, further. Small pieces of advice is like that that helps you really kind of focus and get the project going and stay focused on the project and, and help you create. Um, again, it's like it's not going to be it's not perfect and everything you need to know, but I think it does a really solid job of kind of getting you the ins and outs of what you need to do. And for those who might not know, this is uh, I think a really great book to you know, help you know what you need to do to pull this off. Uh, so for those who think you might have like a little bit of a clue or like a somewhat of a clue or no clue at all, I think this is a really solid book uh, to get and really drive you through that. You know, if you're at that level where you can organize stuff, you can create your narrative, you've, you know, created your books like that and you, you know, you're at that like, how do I get distribution or how do I find... Um, how do I find publishers or printing stuff and things like that? That's not necessarily what this does. Uh, so this is more kind of like, how do you strategize and get organized to create a graphic memoir? Which is really good because that is the huge first step to do it. And honestly, you know, this is something that I've kind of wondered and thought through myself. So to be able to get through this kind of, it helps put things in perspective and get you kind of to, to think things through in a good way. So uh, for those who might be interested in either knowing how this process works or want to do it yourself, 
I recommend it. Like it's twenty five ninety nine. It's out in comic shops today. Uh, you can go get it there. Obviously, go support your comic shop first and foremost. Uh, we always like to support our comic shops. They are the backbone of the industry. Uh, you know, we got a link beneath this video. You can put in your zip code. It'll tell you uh, if a shop's near you. If there's no shop near you, uh, then we got some affiliate links below as well. There are affiliate links so we to get a small percentage. And by doing that, you help support our site. Uh, again, I want to thank St. Martin's Press. We worked us up with a, a review copy of this. We always uh, like to be transparent as to what we get for free, and we appreciate that. Uh, if you're into graphic novels, if you're into graphic memoirs, if you're into comics, you can check us out every single day at graphicpolicy.com. We're on Twitter, Facebook, YouTube, Tumblr, all at Graphic Policy, keeping you nice and consistent. So until next time, keep reading those comics and maybe think about making your own. Most importantly, keep it geeky. Hey, thanks for watching the previous video from Graphic Policy Television. Just by watching, you help support our site. Thank you so much. Now, if you're watching these videos, you probably care about geeky things like movies, television, comic books, toys, games, video games, you name it. You can go and subscribe right now to our YouTube channel to stay in touch and catch all the new videos, or check out our website at graphicpolicy.com. There's a nice link on this end of the video. But as always, thank you for watching. Keep on rocking and keep it geeky.